Hi, it's me, Slay by Jordan. I want to give a quick shout out to my makeup artist, Selena underscore underscore Alexis. She's in Atlanta, so if y'all need her, hit her up. Today, we're going to be doing a protect the quick weave with the middle part. We're going to try to do it as natural as possible. So right now, I'm going ahead and putting her middle part into place, and we're going to start sectioning out her leave out. You want to make sure that you leave enough leave out to cover your tracks. If your hair is thinner, you're going to need more leave out. I'm also going to leave some hair out around the hairline. That way she'll be able to push this um, quickly behind her ear and she can either pull it up into a half up, half down type style. We just want her to have some versatility with this style. We just don't want her to be confirmed to just come apart. And the braid pattern we're going to do for this quick weave is very simple. It's just we're going to bring it straight down from the part all the way around. I am actually adding braiding hair to her braids because she just recently got a relaxer about um, about two weeks ago. And I don't want to put so much tension on her hair. So I add the braiding hair to her braids to make it more stronger because I don't want to, you know, pull the tuck of her hair too much. Because as you know, freshly relaxed hair is very fragile. So, you know, try to keep her hair as healthy as possible. We are now done with her braid pattern. Now we're gonna sew the end of her braid to her head. I use blonde braid because when my clients are taking their hair out or somebody's taking their hair out for them, they can easily tell what is thread and what is their hair. Because I hate when my clients used to cut their hair, trying to take um their ends out. Yeah, that would just really aggravate me. So I try to use blonde braid. If the hair is black that way, they can automatically you know see what's thread and what's their hair. So you know, it's just a tip to you know help with the removal process so you can know what is hair and what is thread. For my method of quick weaves, I use a wrap strip on top of the hair first and then I put my stocking cap on top of that. I don't use the Robert Diamonds or the Wonder Wrap, you know, that black stuff. I don't have time for that stuff to dry and the gel and all that. This method is so much quicker and you literally have no glue on your hair as well. And to take it out, all you do is cut the thread off. So I feel like this way is more easier and you have less products on your hair. I don't like that other stuff. But you know, you do whatever works for you. So I'm going to put the wrap strips all over her hair and make sure I cover every single piece of hair that is going to have glue on it. Once I have those wrap strips secure, I'm going to put a black stocking cap on top of that and I'm going to sew it around those braids around the edges. And once again, I'm using that blood thread. That way, when it's time for the re removal process, we know exactly what is thread and what is hair. It just makes everything so much easier. And now we're going to use our trusty pump it up. You want to make sure you spray this all over the cap. This is going to make the cap um, really like sticky. That way, when you glue your tracks, they hold better. Um, you can also use free spray or any type of hairspray, but you know, there's nothing like pump it up go when it's time to do those quick weaves. And you want to make sure you blow dry that dry, and then you're going to cut off all that excess wrap strips and um, stocking cap. And then we're just going to start gluing in our hair. We have four bundles of straight hair, 30 inch from Julia Hair. Make sure you check the description box for more information and a direct link to purchase this exact hair. I did dye the hair jet black off camera to match her jet black hair, so just keep that in mind. But all I do is just take my 30 second bundle glue, I put it along the track. I actually put it along like a lot of the track and you know, I just paste and cut as I go. I feel like that method is quicker for me where I put the glue along the track and then I just cut, you know, and go. Um, you can measure and cut each track, you know, and you can also glue in two tracks at a time. You just want to do whatever is comfortable for you. You just want to make sure that, um, you're placing your tracks as closely together as possible because, you know, we do have four bundles of hair and we're trying to put as much in there as we can. So just keep those things in mind.
And we just came up to our last check. We were able to get about three and four fifths of the hair in there. We only had like about one little row of track and a little something left over. So that's good because I love to have a very, very full install. So now we're just taking our blow dryer and we're just going to blow dry that hair to just uh, loosen up that pattern in it some. I want to, you know, to get it as straight as possible with the blow dryer first. That way when I go in a flat iron, it can be super straight. Now what I'm going to do is press out her roots first um, with the hot comb. Um, even though she is relaxed, I always like to um, press the roots of the natural hair with a hot comb because it just lays better. And once I get done pressing those roots along, you know, her part and her edges, I'm going to add some cheese silk infusion to her leave out in the hair. And we're just going to start pressing that leave out out and then we're going to start pressing that hair out. So just keep on watching. But I am loving how natural this install is looking. Like, if we would have did this with some kinky straight hair, it would have been so undetectable, I swear. But, you know, we could do it with the sickle straight. You know, I know how to make it blend. Okay. <laughs> Back to the video, y'all.
do y'all see the silkiness and the luster in this hair and it's so full y'all their bundles came with so much hair in it especially for it to be 30 inches i was so in love y'all yeah this is some good straight hair i can't wait to see you know how it holds up and everything And for a great shine and a great smell, y'all know I got to use my Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray. It just gives a beautiful gloss and an amazing smell. So, y'all, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I wanted to do something different but um, besides all the lace wigs and frontals and stuff, especially being that it's a shortage on lace right now. I want to give you guys some options of other styles. So, yeah, we're going to take it back to the leave outs real quick. Once again, this is four bundles of Julia hair, 30 inches. Um, make sure you check the description box for more information and a direct link to this hair. More videos coming soon. I'm sorry if y'all feel like I've been neglecting y'all, but y'all, I've been so busy in Atlanta at the shop, just working, you know, doing things behind the scenes, you know, where your boss moves, okay, period. But yeah, I still love y'all and I would never quit YouTube, period. So don't worry. <laughs> love y'all. Goodbye.